we hot? Yeah, we're hot. Yeah, we're hot. The air conditioner's not working. We're hot. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Here's the deal. We had trouble with our air conditioner, what, about two weeks ago? Um, not working. It just shut right off. So I came out and evaluated it. I found out there was a uh, crankcase heater that was bad. It's a burnt wire that was shorting out. So I ordered parts. It finally came in. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. In the meantime, we're having some trouble right now with it not running correctly. It's hot, very humid, Northeast Ohio. So we are trying to figure out what is wrong with the air conditioner. This is a common problem. A lot of people have this problem this time of year. If you notice, the A-coil inside the furnace was froze up. Also, a line outside here was froze up. Of course, it's not, we're not froze up right now, but it has been. Typically speaking, when you get something like that going on, it's usually airflow is a problem. Could be refrigerant, but usually it's airflow. So what I'm checking out now is the coils on the, on the outdoor unit and the indoor unit. Look at the coils on the outside of this. It's pretty funky. So I'm gonna clean it today. I got, the, I got the outer tin taken off, the top taken off. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some water on here, get the, get the most of it off. I have a coil cleaner right here that I got mixed up. Got it mixed up. This is a concentrate, three to one, three parts water, one, point, one, one part um, cleaner. Spray it on, let it foam up, wash it off, do it a couple times. Try to get some of this stuff off. We'll try it again. That sure is dirty. Yuck. Yes. Inside here, the crankcase heater, this is just a, just a little cover. It covers the compressor. The crank, crankcase heater goes up underneath here. You can't really see it, but this is where it goes at, up under that, up on the bottom of the crank. Keep this compressor warm. We'll come back here in a little bit here and we'll start spraying it down and uh, Clean it up, make it look better. Watching the video, I got the power pulled off on this thing. I shut the power off. The breaker so, in the yeah. house? No, actually, there's a. Most of your air conditioners have an outside box like that. You pull that little fuse out. I'll show you the fuses over here. Here's the fuse, I got it. Yep. Pull that out, and that kills the power to the unit. It goes in there, and you just pull it out. There. I'm hosing this all off good, getting the, getting the worst part of it off. Once I get it wet, I'm going to spray this coil cleaner on here. I'll show you that. That's kind of cool. It foams up as it works. Breaks all that stuff off, clean all the foils and gluing foils off. And then just rinse it down. Now they have different kind of materials, different chemicals and stuff they have. This is a biodegradable, so it won't hurt nothing. They have a little Tommy gun going here. Basically just a garden sprayer. It's already pre-mixed. Spray it on. You get a good layer on there, get a good coating. For those of you who have a uh, I'll tell you, air are like this. It's a good idea when you're mowing grass not to blow grass against it. Because it just collects on the, on the coils and uh, blocks the airflow. Now, I try to blow water from the inside out for two reasons. That's where it came from. So you put, try to flush all the stuff out that way, then rinse off the outside. And if you look at the coils, the coils look a lot better than they did. They're clean. They're all about the same color. I should get better airflow now. 
Now this should be done every every couple of years. I mean, it all depends on how much how much dirt and debris gets accumulated on the coils. Anyways, I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, vacuum out the inside real quick, get it all cleaned, put it together and try it. Now I got this most of the water dissipated out of here. I'm gonna take my shop back and I'll suck out the inside and clean this bottom tray. Make sure it's good and clean so all the water and moisture from the whatever is gonna fall out and go away. A little better, huh? This is the uh, crankcase heater for the bottom of the, the AC compressor. Keeps the compressor warm and all the things going on. Why do you have to keep the compressor warm? Basically, when it, when the, not so much in the summertime, but definitely in the wintertime or when it gets cooler temperatures, it. Uh, We'll start easier. Keeps it keeps the oil warm basically. So it starts easier and runs run So better. it's kind of comparable to when you plug in a diesel engine when in the winter you plug it in to keep it kind warm. Of, yeah, like an engine block heater. Basically okay. the same principle. Okay. And we yeah. found that this was bad. Yeah, the, what happened was the old one, I, I think it's in the garage or somewhere, but about that far up the wires burn off and the wires touched. On the other end, which is basically causing a dead short. That's why it was throwing the breaker. Whenever we turn the air, air, AC unit on outside, it snaps the breaker instantly. Even with the even with the uh, even with the thermostat off and everything, we even calling for air. Once you turn the thermostat on, it kicks the break, breaker. So it was definitely electrical. And that's what it was. So that's just something that you can check when your when your air conditioner is not blowing cold air. Yeah, with air it conditioning, might... there's a lot of different things that could cause problems. If it snaps a if it snaps a, a, a breaker that quick, that fast, it's something electrical. It's something burn off usually. Uh, either a compressor burned up, wire burned off. Um, like today, the air the air conditioner wasn't running. It was running, making cold air, but just wasn't getting cold enough. And what was happening is, is the coils weren't correctly working and you were getting an airflow problem, which causes freeze one up. of the two coils to freeze up. So either the coils are gonna freeze in the air conditioner, you'll see it, what, around here? Yes, around the, around the line. And when you take off your cover, and if that is frozen, or in the house, in the furnace, where, where you saw the coils in there frozen. It'll be frozen in either it's like, place. It's like, uh, like opening up your freezer when it, free, when it freezes up, you get a big layer of ice around the outside of it. Same principle. That just plugs in down there? Yeah, there's a hole that slides into. I gotta find it. Sorry, you got, can't get you any lower than this. And does this just, where does this wire usually stay? Well, this wire usually runs along with these wires and plugs into these terminals up here. I got the, the heater wired in. Right here's my wires. Run down through here, into here, wired so in. You, you plugged it into the hole down here. You yep. got it back in. Yep. And then he ran it back with these wires. So now it's all wired in. Here's my two wires. This is the old wire that come out. Let me see. And this, these were wired in over here. Over here? Right. Yep. Right. And this is the one that burned off. Okay. The other end of this wire burned off. But you can see that it's kind of burned And these there. two wires are touching inside here, inside this insulation, which means it's a dead short causing to kick the breaker okay. like we thought all right well good job okay so now i got a wire in the put the skins back on put the fan back on and uh do all the things oops do all the things wonder where he got that from poor rob poor rob we say poor rob around here a lot
Well, I got back to the other. I did a little quick test on it to make sure everything's working right. Uh, make sure the fan comes on, make sure the fan ain't hitting nothing. Um, I did do uh, on the back part of this uh, thing here where the uh, copper line goes into the house. That uh, foam was pretty bad on that insulation, so I put new, new foam on there. I went and checked the house inside, and I am now waiting for the A coil to finish unthawing. It's almost done. When it's done, I'm also going to check another thing that, that uh, caused the problem in air conditioners is dust in your furnace. Dust and little spiders get in there, and there's a little tray up on your A coil, and it collects water from your A coil, condenses, and goes into this tray and drains off. If those drain holes get plugged up and lays with lays with water, it'll affect your airflow also. Um, anyways, there seems to be flowing okay, so I'm waiting for it to thaw out. Give me another half hour or so, we should be done. We'll try it out. The uh, a coil in here is thawed out. See this little tray right here? This thing lays with water sometimes, and get dust bunnies in here, and it clutches the fills that thing with water and it won't run right. That was the case today. I also added a new piece of foam here. I'm going to uh, turn on the AC and see how, uh, see how things are doing. See if I made any progress or not. I'll put it all back together and call it a day. We are at 77 degrees right now. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes to see how fast it drops. I got the A coil cleaned out. I got the other uh, the A coil uh, defrosted. I got this here cleaned out. We look back together now and running. Making hot air. That's what supposed to do. I'll let this run. I think it's gonna help us though, because it's definitely part of the problem. Anytime you have uh, frosted up A coils and uh, condenser units, it's um, usually an air problem. Um, and the coil will definitely this outside coil and they definitely need to be cleaned. So we'll uh Close the video out here and back to do other things.